Las Vegas, what's happening? It's AD with 98.5 KLUC. Today I am joined by three special guests. We're just going to go down the line. APH, what's happening, man? Yeah, what's good with you, bro? What's happening? What's good? Chilling, man. It's always love. Uh, next to you, we have CM Deluxe, visual director on, on the hoodie. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's me, brother. And uh, and, and then to, to your left, we have Amanda. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm chilling. I'm, I'm blessed, as, as, as CM put it a few minutes Amazing. ago. Amazing. Uh, so you guys comprise what we call the company. Yes, sir. Yes. And, and can someone describe the company for me real quick? What 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 is the company? What, yeah, the, the company is the one stop shop, brother. I come in and I'm the visual director, and then I bring in the stylist. Okay. She styles all the That's artists that I work with. Yep. Okay. And then we have we just brought in APH, the company artist. Uh. So we've been working, man. So are working. You guys, are you guys all company men? Yes. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. We're on a mission. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like that. But but what is it? What is it? It's a it's a it's a different meaning behind that. What is is there a meaning behind the company? I would say there's more of the the company is more of a family. Okay. You know, like everybody it. we work yeah, with in the city, you know, even me moving here from Los Angeles, every artist that I work with, it's more of a, a family to work with every artist to build them up. So now the company itself, every artist we work with, bring them into the company and we build them up, you know, okay. visually, wardrobe, and even, you know, just the artist itself to, you know, get their, their, their visuals out quick and the quality itself just out there. Okay. And how did you guys, how did you guys all link up? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, Funny that, you that, say that. That's, that's, that's yeah. really interesting. Amanda, story. I met we met at Tuesday Blend through a through an old through okay. a friend that we have, a mutual Tuesday friend. Blend. APH we met, we live in actually in the same condos. We ain't gonna okay. say which condos oh, because yeah, yeah. then you know all the girls <laughs> will come in and stalk us, but that's how we met okay. and after that it's just been history. Yeah, we just, just been all fell together. Yep, all fell together. That's crazy. Y'all hit all y'all hit all three different spectrums. You have an artist, you have a visual director, you have you have a fashion, the stylist, um, that's, that's, I don't know, that's wild to me. Hey, Paige, you've been making music for a minute now. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. Uh, you just released a couple videos as well. Yeah, Ain't yeah. Got Time. I, yeah, yeah, I did the Ain't Got Time and then the uh, Keep It Poppin' featuring uh, Ben J from The New Boys. That's the homie right there. And were these both directed by CM? Um, one was actually directed by uh, my boy Think Viral and then edited by CM. And wow. then the other one was directed and edited by CM. And where, 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 where does the name CM Deluxe come from, by the way? CM is my first and last name, okay. so Christian Madero, and then Deluxe okay. came from back in high school when I first started filming. But you know, it turned in from a from a, a passion into my passion into a career. Gotcha. So I just added the CM Deluxe, and I just roll with it. Boom. Okay. Yeah. So we got we got APH Vegas, we got CM LA. Amanda, you're from Dayton. How, what, how, what brought you to Vegas? You've been to Dayton, right? Yeah, I'm always born yeah. in Dayton. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's 64 market. There's not much there. It's ugly as hell. There's right. No, no I, was just, I was really looking for something new, and my creative mind needed something more. Okay. So why not Vegas, where is, this is a city that's so resourceful. This was the first city that you thought to come to? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. I was trying to force that here. I like, don't get me wrong, I like it now, but I would have never came here if I didn't have to. It's, it was, it's either slow lane or fast lane. I love it. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, can, I can respect it. <laughs> now, as the company, um, first of all, how so how how long has the company been around? When did you guys get started? The company has been around since I moved here in December. Of 2015? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. no, fresh. So even Yeah, even moving here, I was just in L.A. I've worked with a lot of artists in L.A., what, from Compton A.V., Ray Schremer, Kidding's Little Brother, like a lot of people in L.A., but I wanted to Tiger? test... Tiger actually, yeah, I did work with Tiger. Uh, we no, did, like, Kidding's little brother. Oh, uh, no, oh. Kidding's little brother is Julian Alexander. Monster. No, Kidding. Lil Bow Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. Well, I work with Ink Monster, but not Lil Bow Wow. Okay. But yeah, no, uh, Kidding's little brother is uh, Julian Alexander. He okay. was actually in the Rangers, the uh, the jerk movement that okay. was you know okay. back in the day. Yeah. Dope. And then you know I wanted to test my skill, move out here to Vegas because I love the culture out here. I really want to put this city on the map. Okay. And even being out here, the company formed itself. And even before that, like moving here, I've worked with The Dream. I've wow. worked with J.R. Castro. I just got off that Dizzy Wright tour. Ooh. So we've been working. But now I want to, you know, with the company itself, I want to help build APH, build my stylist, build the company itself. Right. You know, and that's how it just formed. It just all came together on its own. And how long have you been making videos and doing visuals? Since like I was 17. Wow. When I was in high school, yeah. I was filming for my Shuffler friends back in L.A. when that EDM first blew up. Right. Yeah. And I was doing that. And then after that, I just conquered that. Went from events to music videos, and from music videos, you know, I've been in the same 
path, but now we're starting to do more of short film music videos and what we're trying to do with APH. And you just yeah. you just jumped into it like let me just try this video one day and then just you just loved it. Yeah, man, I found yeah I, I found in love tedious. with it. yeah it's awesome. Like I could shoot a video in one night and edit yeah, it and he's put a it together. That. He's quick. Yeah. He was telling me a story about yeah. that one time. Yeah, okay. yeah. But this one, if you love what you do, like you never work a day in your life. And I quit okay. my job back home to move here and been be self employed right. and do what I got to do to make things happen for my team. Whether it's staying up all night, I, I'll do what I got to do. Right. You know, because we we're on a mission. You know, to okay. take over this whole city and this whole world. I like that. Yeah. Because it sounds like some Illuminati shit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> my soul belongs to G-O-D. <laughs> you be me. So what is, uh, what is the goal? I mean, you said take over, obviously take over everything. But what is like the, like, the ultimate goal of the company uh, as a brand, as, a, as, a, as an organization? The ultimate goal is, you know, whether, you know, with, especially with APH to help build him up, you know, visually and, you know, as an artist as, as well. But to be able to put other artists in better positions okay you know like i can meet another artist on the street and be like look all right you know we're gonna bring you to the company we're gonna style you we're gonna step up your visual game step up your marketing game and step up everything and be able to put them and you know get them to another level but do you charge these artists as they come in since they're not necessarily with the if company from the jump yeah if they're not company artists of course yeah okay. you know you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta charge yeah, yeah of course yeah. you know it's, it's my skill i've been working my butt off like late nights to be at the skill that i'm at Right. You know, and I'm just, you know, I'm like, we're going to get better and better. But at the end of the day, you know, bills, gotta bills got to get paid. And exactly. And, <laughs> and on some other, like another note, too, with that being said, like, that's what makes this so, like, great is because, like, you know, I've been doing a lot of big major things for a long time. I've been having a lot of content that's, you know, being placed in the right positions. And then so to take that and then meet up with CM, who's going to take the visuals to a next level and still have other people like, you know, like I said, my boy Think Viral, who's still there to like work with it. And then I got, you know, Amanda over here to switch up the swag and completely like rebuild. You put all that together and it's it's go time. You know what I'm saying? So plus, like, like I said, like we, you know, you already know, like the work ethic strong. All of our work ethic is strong. We'll be up. Till late, we were up to like four in the morning. I was up registering. I got this new project. I was like registering that. He's doing some other stuff for a video. You know, she's up there designing and cutting, editing, making some new clothes. We stay working. There you go. Like while people are sleeping, we working. That's how you gotta do it. While they working, we working. <laughs> you right. know, so. <laughs> so so yeah. I see you on the clothes. I see this design. I see you on the sweatshirt. I see you on the hat. Um, I see you on the hat now. I see you on the dad hat. Where did design come from? Yeah, the CM signature, it came from when I first moved out here and I signed my first business check, Okay. you know, because I got my LLC, I got all that taken care of. But I really signed my first check and I was like, this is going to sign a million dollar check in Vegas because this is what I came out here for. Right. And I wrote it. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't even catch that. That's a CM. Yeah, that's oh, my signature. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. it was like some like some wavelength. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. dope. No, a lot of people did say it looked kind of like a heartbeat, kind of look, like, but okay, you know, that's, that's yeah. my you know that's my life wow, in my I didn't in catch my. That. Yeah, that's dope. Okay. Yeah, but that's what we 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 went with, and you know, ever since then, like people have been buying all over the U.S., which is dope. You know, especially just coming off that Dizzy Ride tour, there's people that were actually at the show rocking my stuff, even my old stuff that I would sell before. And where can they get the stuff at? Uh, you can get that on www.welcometothecompanystore.com. And that's up and running, on and popping. Yes, sir. Keep yeah. popping. Yes, sir. I like that. I like yeah. the dad as well. I like, like where? Thanks. You can get these online at the website? Absolutely. And there, okay. we also have a women's line as well. Oh. Mm. Okay, yeah, very for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> for the ladies? Okay, and what, what's, what's next for the company as a whole, as an entity? What's next? Uh, well, this year's about to be wrapped up. A lot of stuff has been going on this just this year, so it was a great accomplishment for the company itself. But now for this upcoming year... The main focus is obviously on APH to, you know, build him up and get all this stuff going because his album almost done, right? Nah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so is there a title? To be real, yeah, honestly, uh, okay. I've been kind of keeping it low key. I haven't, like, posted it on, like, the gram or anything, so I'm just putting it out there now, but uh, it's called The Plotting Project. Oh, we get, oh we're getting the title. Yeah, okay. right, right there. Exclusive, hey. exclusive. I'm not Ooh. mad at that. The Plotting okay. plot Project, yeah, yeah. Um, what inspired that? Um, you know, there's a lot of people out here that I feel like have motives that aren't what they really are, or there's people who might pretend to be your homie or tight with you, and then, like, some switch up, and then it's like, you're not, you know what I mean? I've done that a couple times with people who weren't close to me and people who are my best friends, you know what I mean? And uh, so that kind of inspired that whole theme for the project. Um, 
So I kind of was just like, you know, I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm going to run with it. Um, but yeah, um, the project is actually, it's all completed. It just needs to be a uh, mix and master. There's like one song that needs like some tweaking. But other than that, it's... I'm actually supposed to be releasing it December 29th. That's great ass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that, so that's coming. That's coming up very quickly. Very, very quickly. Wow. And uh, you've seen the visuals to you know two or three now. Um, those are songs that are on there. So if you can already right. catch that new vibe, that okay. new feel of like where APH is really Man, at, time is my shit for real. Then oh, good luck. I appreciate that. Um, if you if you like that, then just get ready for the uh, the heaters we about to drop because okay. there's some there's some dope stuff in there and then. Like he was saying, we're about to get real cinematic. We're doing like this whole like really dope like short film short film video. Okay. Yep. And it's to one of the songs off the project. Um, it's called uh, Right Now. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really uh, really different than what people are expecting. So okay. we're excited. Yeah. Okay, I definitely gonna look out for that. Let me just ask y'all some just some, some personal questions real cool. quick. Cool. Yeah. I'm breakfast guy. A what? Breakfast guy. I like okay. breakfast. Okay. You gotta choose between waffles, pancakes, French toast, or omelets. Waffles. waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Real. Wait, can you repeat that? Waffles, <laughs> pancakes, French toast, or omelets? Uh, I'm gonna go with omelet. Okay, okay. I respect yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with pancakes straight up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, All right. Smoking or drinking? Drinking. Drinking. <laughs> Smoking what? <laughs> not, not crack, not hair, nothing like that. Some, some, some good. Hookah? Yes, on question two. Hookah? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Shout out to Cloud Nine. <laughs> UV. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a plug. That's a plug. Right. Yeah. There's a plug right Okay. Yeah. Uh, and y'all, y'all got favorite hoop squads? Clipper gang. Oh. UV. Oh, I'm gonna be real. I'm from Vegas, I so I like more like players than I do like you know teams because we don't got no team. Hopefully, we are gonna have some yeah. soon because I see we got the you know the NHL and hopefully the NFL. Right. And then when we bring a team out here and it's the Las Vegas whatever Rangers. they might be, okay, or basketball, then I'm gonna be like that's me. But right now, I just got like I, I like players. You know, I'm like oh they on oh, that fool be nice. I'm gonna watch <laughs> that game. You know, what I mean, I don't really have like the whole. Uh, Solid team for that football. Different story. I'm with that, and we talked about this before. How do you guys feel about Vegas uh, and like how it uh, how it uh, how it opens up to like hip hop or like urban culture if it does at all? Because I've I've been told that it doesn't really, and I started to see like okay, so you don't really have a lot of like openings for like the hip hop artists to like yeah. There's emerge. not. There's really not. I mean, there's a lot of like the EDM stuff, and it's starting to slowly open up a little bit more. But there's not that many venues out there, you know. And even with some of the uh, local artists that are out here, like some of them, you know, they're doing their own thing, but then they like kind of drift off. But then there's a lot that are really consistent, you know what I mean? Like I got my boy uh, Jovi Jove and Goliath Cruz. They're always working. They're always putting out some new stuff, you know. My boy uh, L Rich, he uh, he's always working and doing some too, you know. There's so many. There's so many more I could name, but just to name a few, that there's some consistent people who are always working and doing stuff. And, you know, they're in, like, the same pattern as us trying to, like, make that move. But there's sometimes it feels like some some of these clubs and some of these venues, they don't want to let the rap people in, you know what I mean? Because they're afraid it's going to bring that bad crowd. But right. not all of us are bringing that bad crowd. Some of us are bringing that money crowd, you know what I mean? Like, open up the doors. <laughs> let, it, let, it, like, let it slide through, yeah. So you know? do, you, do you feel you have to get out of Vegas to, like, make it pop? Or you feel like, or, like, is it, is it possible to stay in Vegas to... To I think it's possible, but I think if you want to hit your highest potential, you need to be able to take this nationwide, you know what I mean? Like, that's the goal. The goal is not to stay in Vegas and keep doing the same thing. Nah, the goal is to go from here to Florida, here to London, here to, you know, Japan. Like, that's right. the real end goal, you know what I mean? That's what we're trying to do because that's, that's the long haul. Like, I don't want to be, you know, I love the city. The city's that's my heart you know what I'm saying but I gotta get out there and expand you know right. what I'm saying like and we taking the team with us to do it so I like that and what would uh, what would each of you leave one thing with Vegas one one thing one thing with the viewers what would, what would you leave them with we'll start, we'll start with you Amanda just do whatever you wanna do just fight have faith and do it I like that faith Okay, for me, um, I mean, a lot of people who, like, really genuinely know me know that I've been doing this for so long, and I have people hit me up and, like, straight up tell me, like, yo, you're an inspiration. Like, I, you know, I just had my cousin hit me up the other day, like, yo, I'm so proud of you. Like, you really follow your dream. I tell my kids to look up to you. I have one of my homeboys, like, yo, I'm about to have a baby soon when he's six come through and come tell him, like, yo, like, that he can do anything because I watch you, and it amazes me. So for me, it'd be 
never give up on your dreams because people are going to tell you no. People are going to tell you you can't. But then you keep going. You keep doing your stuff, and you never give up. And you're going to have them looking at you like, yo, can you help me out? Can, right. I, can you get me a job? How can I? You know what I mean? So just never give up. Just be positive, be blessed, and be humble, and be grateful for everything you have. I like that. See you? Yeah. Well, I mean, with me, I moved out here for my family. So I would say if you're doing it for a goal, do what you got to do to achieve that goal, no matter what it takes. You know what I mean? You got to sleep. You, you don't have to sleep all day. Just make sure you do what you got to do at the end of the day. Just know you worked hard. You know, we be going to sleep hella tired at the yeah. end of the day. And I feel if you're going to sleep, all right, cool, I'm going to go to sleep today. You didn't take full advantage of that day. I like that. You know what I mean? So you want to achieve your goals, you got to put in the work and, you know, work late hours while other people are sleeping. You got to be working. You know what I mean? To build any brand that you create, you can do it. I like that. So just follow your dreams and do what you got to do. That's all I got to say. And where can people follow you guys at? Uh, for me, you can follow me at APH Official on like Instagram or Twitter. Um, and then go subscribe on my YouTube channel at APH Vivo or APH Official. Preferably APH Vivo because that's the new rebrand right there. And then on my website at www.aphofficial.com. And for me, you can follow me on Instagram at The Company Stylist or on Snapchat The Company Styles as well. Or you can click on the bio on CM Deluxe Films. Dot com. Boom. Yep, and me, follow me on at CM Deluxe, at C-M-D-E-L-U-X. The production at CM Deluxe Films or the clothing, welcome to the company. And that's I, got one more, I got one more question for you, though. Wait, wait, sorry, it's popping in my head. What's the, what's the like, your favorite thing that you've shot of all time? My favorite thing that I've shot so far is, well, besides APH's work that hey, we've been shooting. Hey, hey, but um, uh, I would say... J.R. Castro's Morning After, just because I shot that on my birthday. Wow. Just to show my team, like, doesn't matter what day it is, we shot yeah, this right. video on my on my birthday. I'm still going and even ahead. after that shoot, we walked out of my suite and was in the living room area, and I had, like, 40 to 50 artists in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And I really had, like, that moment in there because it's like I moved here to build this company, and I had 50 artists that I invited personally to celebrate after our shoot. That's dope. You know what I mean? So the morning after for J.R. Castro, that would be my... So that one's coming out within the new year. Okay. We, you know, I got to talk to that boy. Go. But either way, yeah, that's that's the one that... That's the one I love, yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to look out for that. The company, APH. Hey, yo, real fast, real fast, not to cut you short. I want to give a shout-out to my boy, AD. No, yeah, yeah. Love. Always, AD. Uh, always showing me love, always posting stuff and, you know, making sure you keep the, the, the young Vegas out there, you know what trying. I mean? There, there's, there needs to be more people. Like, you asked about how it's hard to get for, like, the rap scene for Vegas to pop. You are the perfect example of somebody who is out there trying because there's so many radio stations and radio personnel and people doing stuff that's out here in Las Vegas that don't ever want to open the door. They want to keep that door closed or use it to their own advantage. So I want to say much love to AD because you yeah. always Thank show you me so love. Much. You Thank always you, you know, do positive things. and you. Besides the fact you're a cool-ass dude, like you're a real, real, real person. Waffle Color Brothers. Also, like, yeah, you know, Waffle <laughs> Color is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some real shit. So I appreciate you, dog. Right, real love. Vice versa. Real love. love. No, no, much love all, all the way around the company. Vegas, this is what it is. Get yeah. used to seeing them because that's how it's happening. 98.5 KLUC.